Hey guys, Rano here. Welcome back to B Main G Drive for a little bit more banger racing here today. Back on the road Atlanta circuit, which continues to break more and more each time we come to this circuit. And up front today we have the slowest car of the front, as ever, the Garville Barstow, the awful version. Not sure why this thing's called awful. So it's a pretty decent paced car, as front running cars go. And in second place we have a new car. Ever since one of the last updates to Beam, the game broke a little bit, so some cars don't actually exist anymore. So in second place, we have an SBR4 base version, rear wheel drive. In third, in the vibrant, like, neon kind of purple, we have the car that needs to win this round. And this car is the Soledad Wendover Sport SE 4400V8 facelift. Yep, I had to have a lap written down next to me. But yeah, it's going to be calling it the Wendover, and then we have one of the another new car for this round a car that was pretty further up it's still this is the new version of the bolide this is what the bolide has become pretty much more like a classic like group group kind of car in fourth place at the back we have a drag beast you haven't seen one there for a while we've got the burnside drag ute so it's, it's all one unit the brakes aren't the best but they do work a lot better than most other drag cars now to get all the cars now set off each car spawns with a, with a rating of 0.3 on the risk factor. I'll hold it down to get as close as 0.9 as I can, 0.69 as I can. Sometimes it's a little bit over, sometimes it's a little bit under like here. And from now, the first big contest being made, the SBR, which has a lot of acceleration, surprisingly, for a second place car. It's taking the, uh, the one over is taking its time to catch up. But each car behind, the one in front is quicker, so as the rules go, if, the, if all the cars finish, and the one that needs to win doesn't, it will be out in the next round. The purple car needs to win to continue through. Any cars also DNF will be out or get lapped will also be out. It's all about trying to finish, it's all about track position in this series. And of course, the mighty, mighty crashes that go along with it. I'm mean, getting the first one right now. It's more of a spin than a crash. The uh, the awful's been sent completely off the road there. And there's going to be, I'm going to slow that down because I think there's going to be heavy contact here. Get things slowed down b between the now second and third place cars. The one over in the bolide. But I think they make a little bit of contact. Actually, it's a lot tamer than what I thought it was going to be. The, uh, the awful seems to have actually got itself back on the road pretty much okay. But it's facing the wrong way, but it should get himself going again from there fairly okay. Two laps here on this road Atlanta circuit. Like you're saying, the, the track breaks more and more each episode that goes out. But as long as the cars actually still go around the track, and as long as the track is actually drivable, this series will continue. Of course, I was looking for other tracks as well, but this one, it's a good baseline circuit to use. And there's, oh, that's big contact. That is massive contact. The uh, bow lies there has been destroyed a little bit. going to slow that down now. Get that on to four times slower. I feel like everything might go wash straight on here at turn one. But I thought despite the contact it took, actually held it pretty well. The front lights have gone on the burn side, which is no surprise whatsoever, given the massive whack it just took. Is anything going to make the corner? Is the SPR actually going to make the corner? It's trying to make it. Is is This thing is very stable under cornering, so it might actually get there okay. Although it's vulnerable now. The window is trying to go around the outside line here. And try and tip it around it tries it but it's getting the SBR has a little bit of acceleration and somehow everything makes it around the corner the Burley is going to get sent around the corner exit not quite the uh, the SBR had a little bit of a wiggle there off corner exit as well I think everything I know that anything's stuck together I think because the the, uh, the car at the back the burn side is so much quicker it's just shoving everything around and then now the Burley is going around it's going to make contact though we're going to slow that down again you're going to hit the rear wheel I think it clipped it the, one of the lights is gone I think it escapes without getting a puncture now the burn side, the fastest car here, with the brakes of the cook, it needs to make track position early and try and get a gap, because it's probably going to go straight on down at turn one on the second lap, which is something that the awful is not going to be doing, because going nowhere near quick enough to make that a possibility. But there's still any of these four cars, or oh, Edgy, as long as any car's still going, it has the possibility of winning the race, of course. But realistically, it's between these three, if the, um, it's a bullet you can get caught up again, because I don't think that's going to have braking issues, so it's still, yeah, it still may actually be a four car fight for the win here. As, oh, that is not a sight you want to see coming towards you at over 100 miles an hour, that is. Oh, nice red interior here on the lights on the dashboard. But now then, into the, what is the, the corner of doom for the second. Most cars have issues around here. And the car that's having issues now is the one in second place, the Wendo. Looks like he's going to get sent round. No, the bow side backs off. Interesting. Maybe he thought he would just lose more time if it spun everything then and there as well. Now then, the top three are all getting pushed along now. And uh, the, uh, the fuel tanks, I don't think... Are anyone, actually, the fuel tank is right behind the bumper on, actually, on the Wendover. So maybe the fuel tank may be at risk, actually, on the Wendover. And this is all just going to be allowing the Bolide to catch back up. Because the Bolide, of course, is faster than the SBR. The SBR just needs, needs to do what it is doing. Because it's holding down the lead. It's beating the car it needs to beat to knock it out of the next round. 
So if things finish like this, all cards apart from the Wendover would be in the next round. Even the one in last place because it's not the card that needs to win and everything would have survived. Talking of surviving, I'm not sure how the burn side... I'm not sure how it's still going because it, it must have taken out the radios by now. These drag cars, they're so mightily powerful, they really don't last long once they start overheating. But the SBI is just so planted, or at least it was, he got on the curb like that. It's going to get sent round, no, the window is going to go round, they're both going round, going to get that slowed down. I think that the burn side might plough into the SBI here. The window is going to try to keep out of the way, and they can both go off the road. The window is not going to make contact, no, it's, going, it's looping round too much. Now these two are still pushing each other along. The SBI has gone the wrong way, can he get himself flicked back round the right way? Oh, he's in the bumper, the burn side's turned the bumper with it. He gets flipped around, the door's open, that doesn't, doesn't matter though, the doors aren't important. There might be, oh, there was contact! Oh, that was heavy contact! I think that's the Wendover done. I've seen before though, it works if you remove this wheel. One of the, it can still work minus a front wheel. So I'm gonna try and get hold of one. If I can get the, uh, the camera angle changed, take that off, pause. Get a hold here of, I think this is the node for the wheel. Pull it, at least pull it out so then I can actually grab hold of the wheel and pull it off. There we go. Now let's see if this thing is still capable of movement now. It's it's trying. So yeah, it can work on one wheel drive. The bow, oh dear. The bow light's seen better days. The front axle broken, you don't say. Now let's remove the front bumper. Remove the entire front section of this car basically. It's going to have to go. So the thing can actually try and get on the ground. Front right tyre deflated, that might be an issue, but not more so than what the issues this car is already experiencing. Can you still go, can you, that wheel still go in a, sh it's going in a straight line actually. No, yeah, it's alright, it's going. It's going again. It's going straight off the road again, I think. Let me have, let me pause that for a sec. Where is this thing, yeah. It doesn't really turn anymore. That's both of those cars then eliminated. How is the Burnside doing up front? It's going off-road, is it? Is it just going to hold it on? No, oh no, it gets a wheel on the dirt. And uh, the, uh, the Awful survived all of that. The Wendover is going nowhere. That's out of the next round. The Bolite, I going to tr... Okay, that wheel can still turn. So this wheel then has to go. Because it's still causing uh, significant issues. Because I've seen that other wheel there does turn to the right still. So if I remove this wheel, it should be okay well more okay than it was anyway to get back going again back on the road is it dead is it conked out now it's not four wheel drive is it no it's just trying to go in reverse it's, it's it's a little bit confused as am i as to what it's doing as well anyway we've got one car there on the second lap this thing's taken a beating and survived really well the sbrs they're notoriously strong these cars the wendover has found pace although i use the term pace rather loosely there the bow light, it's got glitchiness going on through the wheel. I don't think half it's on, it's not really got ground clearance anymore. Not a whole lot I can do about that though. With the way things are on that car, that's more like chassis also not just bits of debris in there that I can remove. And it's found the dirt again. I think the bow light's making it around the lap, honestly. The, um, it's an interesting line from the burn side. The taking the Crookwood car line, it's the car in the lead. That could end up shaking the engine apart. You see they're shaking around up in front already. Now I know that it's determined to keep going. That determination, it's not gonna it's gonna get it up the hill, but I don't think it's gonna get it any further than that once it gets up the hill. The bow light is stuck, so I will put that then onto disabled. Have a quick look back up front and see how the burn side is gonna get stopped for turn one. If indeed it does actually get stopped for turn one. Which, it really doesn't. It's gone straight on through the gravel, which actually does a good job of slowing it down. And it's going to be wary now of the SBR catching up. The Wendover's actually managed to break itself free, finally. And I'm going to have to lift the bow light now out of the, uh, the sand trap. Just by, uh, I would say by yanking on bits of it. I mean, it's pretty much had it anyway at this point. Should be able to get golf going again from there. Turn the engine back on. And is it going to do anything from then? Doesn't look like it is. I think it may be out now. But it's like it gets itself going again really rather quickly. And it's... Well, it, it did build up that lead that it needed to. The Wendover is taking the extreme uh, offline line. Bowlight, I'm not sure what it's doing. I put that then onto disabled. Get it flipped back round. And hopefully it tries to go in something resembling the correct direction. 
Yeah, I need to try and remove some more of that debris if I can. Because this one, this one wheel's not having... I know that wheel is punctured as well, so... Yeah, it's not having a fun time. I'm going to put that down back onto random. Have a quick look at everything else, how that's going. Seems to be all going all right. Put back onto real time, then slow it down to 100 times slower. And try and get hold of something to yank off. Uh, maybe this. That can... Well, it, it can be moved anyway, if not removed. I think this is about the best I can do of yanking stuff off there. Make it a bit more... There we go. Now we've got some ground clearance on that wheel. Might actually be able to go somewhere now. Still not quite sure what the burn is doing being over this side of the road, though. You're putting all these wheels on the dirt, and you, and you can't stop on the dirt at the best of times. Try to take a really wide line in, which you're going to carry the way all the way around the outside line. And he goes off road once again. He's going to head towards the wall. Now I think he's going to get started. He's going to flip, though. Is he going to roll? Not quite. Thought about it, though. Now he's off the road again. How far behind is the SBR? And not too far behind, so the burn side's going to need to get yourself going again, and going again quickly. And, oh, that was a massive hit for the bolide. Something else has fallen off, not too surprising. Now then, burn side, how are you going to get going again from here? I think, has the suspension collapsed on that side? Most of this be the way the front is bent down, maybe. Has the SBR gone through? No, it's still so far behind. This thing, well, you can't really see it anymore from certain angles. Still trying to get yourself going again. I commend this thing for working on one wheel. But I think it's, it's time is definitely going to be up fairly soon. The bow light is... Oh, that's out. There's no way I can get that out of the wall. Even if I tried lifting it over, I don't think it would really work. I mean, the Wendover's stuck, so I might as well give it a go. See if I can lift this thing out of the wall. Actually, I can. Good to know for future. Not that anything's crashed over there before. That thing dropped back down, and now can it get back going again? Can it get itself onto the second lap to give itself any chance of getting through into the next round? It's a, Basically, it's just got to get onto the second lap. First of all, obviously, it's got to complete it as well, but it can't finish the race if it never even gets onto the second lap to start with. Up front, things still seem fairly, well, fairly chill for how this round's gone. The chaos has been going all the way through. This thing has got lost suspension wobbles. There's something collapsed. Now things the, the off-road suspension in general, how it's being. Is it going to get past the Wendover? Oh, it clips the side of it. That could be detrimental. But I think it's gone away with it. I think it did more damage to the Wendover, actually. It took off the, the uh, remaining wheel on the Wendover. Oh, it has. Uh, that's just insult to injury. The Wendover is completely immobilized now. The Bolide, is it going to make it around the final corner? Uh, not really. It was making it until it decided that it wasn't going to make it. Might just be pulling off now, accepting his fate. Oh, what's happened here? Did it hit something? What's happened here? The car's just exploded. It's exploded. What's happened here? What has happened? Is it out? It looks like it is. It scraped the side. Did that, take, did that do damage? That must have done some significant damage. And then the SBR is going to come through to take the lead. Are we only going to get two cars go through this round? Is the bowline going to make it onto the next lap? It needs to get going and see, but going at this speed, it's not even going over... We need to get going again over 20 miles an hour to be classified as going fast enough, which now it is. But I still don't think it's going to get much further than the distance it's already covering very slowly. So only two cars. Only two cars are going to survive this round. And one of them is just the absolute unit. It might actually have to be the third place car next time. It's going to make it all to the line. And the SBR... It was brought in as a standing because the original bowline doesn't exist anymore, and it's going to leave this round with the win. It wins from second place, survives so much contact. And then the car, the awful, as I said, there's, no, there's literally nothing awful about this car. It's a good all-rounder for a front-place car. It's going to cross the line doing doing nearly 50 miles an hour, which is good for a front-place car. I can put that then on, on to, uh, not disabled. I'm going to put that then onto stopping and see if it does in fact get stopped. No, that is going to be massive contact. Let's get that slowed down to eight times slower. Time for a bit of revenge here. The awful makes is steaming even ten for the next round. That that's gonna that's gonna spill over next time. And both these cars now, well, they don't look any worse off than they did really about ten seconds ago. Well, maybe maybe for the uh, the awful, because I don't really have any damage on it. Now, how's the bowline doing? It's doing alright, actually. It's taken the crippled car line. 
It's taking this severe crippled car line. It can't turn, it, it can't turn, is what I'm gathering from this. Um, I've removed as much of it as I can, but that, that wheel with the puncture is basically running on, it's basically running on rims at the, well, rim, at the front. And I'm not seeing it making this corner. It just goes very late on the brake still. It's very late on the brakes actually. But still misses the corner and goes straight on. And it's going to be a while for this thing to get around. And now it's stuck again. So you know what? I'm going to do this off screen. If this thing gets round, you'll see it again next time. But if you don't see it again next time, then you'll know it never made it. So anyway, so the car that needs to win, the pile right next to each other, two surviving, maybe three surviving cars from this round. The SBR4. Probably going to be in third place next time, but it's the car that needs to win. So if you enjoyed this episode of Banging Racing, then please leave a like on this video. Leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell so you do any future videos which will be on a Monday and Friday for definite, Wednesdays if I can. I do work full time so I can't guarantee that. I will try for definitely Mondays and Fridays. Also select Saturdays for Formula 1 and Formula 2. Then you get subscribed so you don't miss out on any of that. If you give me a follow on Twitter and Instagram, that would be much appreciated. The link's in the description down below. You can keep when new videos are released or any updates about anything I need to make in general. That's where I'm going to leave things for today. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all with a lot of new cars here next time.